teacups welcome back it is Monday it's actually the last Monday of the Newt's Readathon I finished with the fire on high last night and the audiobook was super super good and I also ended up buying the physical copy because I went to Barnes and Noble yesterday and they were having the huge Barnes and Noble book blowout sale I ended up getting it for less than nine dollars so super excited about that and also this is such a beautiful book and it's not only beautiful on the outside it's beautiful on the inside too because I ended up giving this a five out of five star rating and then underneath the dust jacket it is so cute I love it so much and then on top of the Barnes & Noble blowout sale they also had this other sale which I didn't even realize until I looked at my receipt um, they had like young adult paperbacks on sale they were like 20% off and then I'm also a Barnes & Noble member so I get 10% off on top of the 20% so I got love and luck by Jenna Evans Welch this is also on my TBR list for the Newt's Readathon and I did borrow this from the library but I just wanted to own my own copy um, because I loved love and gelato so much so I feel like I'm really gonna love this too I'm not very far into this one I'm only 35 pages but I really like it so far so I'm gonna be reading this today Today, but my primary focus for today is your guide to a stylish home discovering your personal style and creating a space you love by Domino I am halfway through and it has been so much fun reading this it just gives you so much inspiration for I don't know just like making your house very much your own I've highlighted a couple of different things that like really inspired me and it talks about all sorts of different stuff it talks about artwork it talks about um, upholstery it talks about flooring and Harold and I are going to look at flooring later today so I'm really going for like the bright and airy Scandinavian look right now we have this like dark flooring but we really want to go for something lighter that's the plan anyways we'll have to like look at prices and stuff but I'm so excited um, so let me show you what we're going for so this is what I have in mind and I love this so much I just really think it's gonna brighten up our space so we're not gonna go and look at flooring until later today um, so I think in the meantime I am going to finish this book and while I do that I think I'm gonna watch some HGTV because I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with this book so um, yeah I'm gonna watch that just well I'm not really gonna watch it I'm really just gonna do some reading but I'm gonna have that on um, for like background noise and probably gonna make some breakfast as well but um, yeah so once I finish this book I will have met all of my requirements to become a herbology professor so I am so close and then this one's just gonna be for extra credit but oh my gosh I'm so excited I can't believe I'm doing this well hi Ellie <laughs> and I think I'm going to light a candle I just got this one it's the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow so I think I'm gonna light that up and make some breakfast get nice and cozy and get some reading done Studio. 
So I didn't get to give you guys a proper update um, before we went to look at flooring. So I did finish your guide to a stylish home by Domino. I have officially completed all of the requirements to become a herbology professor at Hogwarts. I'm so excited. And so now I just have one book left on my TBR. I still have this whole week ahead of me, so I'm thinking I will add on an 11th book to my TBR. <laughs> I actually need to do some cleaning because the flooring people are gonna come tomorrow morning to do the measurements. So I wanna listen to an audiobook while I do some cleaning. So I'm gonna listen to Maybe This Time by Casey West. And I feel like this kind of fits in with the herbology theme because the main character, Sophie, works for the local florist. So yeah, it's kind of got like a little bit of a herbology theme with like the flowers and stuff. So I think it'll be really cute. I hope that it's like a really cute summer read. So I'll just listen to that. I really, really need to clean out my closet. So I guess we should go do that now because the flooring people are coming like super early tomorrow, so. Okay, so I've got the Newt's Readathon prompts pulled up on my phone and I have decided to use um, maybe this time for ancient runes because I'm already taking that class so it kind of works out because for the A grade I listen to with a fire on high and then to receive an E you have to read a book written in past tense and that works out for the Casey West book so yeah that's perfect. So update, it is now 10 o'clock and I am probably like halfway done cleaning my closet. It always takes so long. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here um, and I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. I will probably have at least one more reading vlog for the Newt's Readathon, um, and then I'll have my wrap up video as well. I can't believe it's almost over. I always get so sad when it's over, um, but it definitely helped me read so much more than I normally would, so it has been great. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, bye.